Hi, I'm Ethan, and today I'm going to walk you through on how to upgrade Greylog. Whether you're running a small log server or managing an enterprise cluster, keeping Greylog up to date means better performance, stronger security, and of course, access to the latest features. I'll break everything down step by step, preparing your system, upgrading MongoDB and data nodes safely, all the way to validating your new Greylog instance. No fluff, just a clean, confident walkthrough so you can get it done without breaking your setup. So you ready? Let's get started. All right, before we touch anything, let's knock out the essentials. First up, backups. Seriously, do it. Back up your real config, your MongoDB data, and anything critical. Also make sure you're running a supported version of Ubuntu, either 22.04 and double check that all your components are compatible with your target Greylog version. If you're using MongoDB or OpenSearch, those need to be upgraded before Greylog. Ready to move? Let's hit it. All right, before we upgrade anything, let's check what versions we're running across both nodes. On node A, the one with Greylog and MongoDB, run. This confirms the current Greylog core version and your MongoDB. On node B, your data node, you'll want to check. This shows the version of your data node component. Knowing where each component stands is critical. Greylog and data node need to be on the same version after the upgrade. And MongoDB should be upgraded first if needed. Now that we know what versions are running, it's time to get hands on. We're going to start with node A where Greylog lives. First thing. Stop the Greylog service. After that, make sure it's actually down. You want to see that the service isn't running anymore before you move on. Clean shutdowns avoid messy upgrades. Oh, and real quick, if you're doing this in a multi-node setup with Greylog cluster, you'd want to start the upgrade on the leader node first. That's part of a rolling upgrade process where you handle each node one at a time. But today, we're focused on a single node Greylog instance. Also, if you're jumping across multiple major versions, it's best to pause now. You'd want to check the docs for incremental upgrade steps. This walkthrough assumes that you're going version to version and not leapfrogging. Once Greylog is stopped and verified, we're ready to prep for the actual upgrade. First, let's make sure that your source package list is fresh. This pulls down the latest info from the config sources. Next, we'll check if the Greylog package is on hold. If that's the case, you'll want to unlock it before continuing. You'll get a confirmation if the hold is removed. If it wasn't on hold, no worries, let's keep on going. Quick side note, if you're doing a cluster upgrade, like I mentioned earlier, the rolling upgrade section, every node should go through this same unlock and update process individually. Start with the leader node and then move on to the followers one at a time. Now let's bring in the latest Greylog version. You'll want to download the updated repository package. Here's the command for Greylog 7.0 or replace this with whatever version you're targeting. After that, update your system one more time to pull in the new repo metadata. And now the big moment, install the latest version of Greylog. This installs a new version while preserving your configuration file, but we still need to check that it worked. Let's make sure that the correct version was installed and confirm that everything landed where it should. If the release notes mention any config file changes, now is the time to handle that. Most of the time, changes are optional or documented as only if you're using X, but always check. Review or edit the server.com file and make any needed adjustments. All right, moment of truth. Let's fire Greylog back up. Give it a few seconds and then check and see if it's running. You'll see active running in green. If so, you're golden. All right, let's make sure everything upgraded cleanly. Head over to your Greylog Web UI interface. I'll log in with your admin credentials. And we're just going to make sure that everything is working as expected after the upgrade. 
Hold on a second. You see that notification? Greylog's telling us that the data node is, not, is running the older version. That's expected. So let's not panic. We just upgraded the core Greylog server, but now it's time to bring data node up to the same version so the stack is fully synced. So yes, Greylog upgraded successfully. Mission accomplished on node A. But we're not done just yet. We need to swing over to node B and upgrade data node. Welcome to node B, home of the Greylog data node. This part's gonna feel like deja vu. Well, basically it is. The process is the same as upgrading the core Greylog server with a couple small but yet important differences. Step one, we're gonna stop the data node service. Then confirm that it's actually stopped. Step two, update the system. If your system has data node package locked, unlock it like we did before. Step three, add a new repository. Same command as before, same repo, because both server and the data node packages live there. Here's the only real difference in the install command. Yep, that's it. Just replace Greylog server with Greylog data node and the rest works the same. Check the version number should match what's installed on node A. Start data node back up and look for active running and it's back online. That's a wrap and just like that both nodes are upgraded. You now have an environment with the latest features and security patches. Real quick. If you're running a three data node cluster deployment, the upgrade flow is a little different. You'll want to follow a rolling upgrade process. Just like the single node, you'll get the data node version mismatch notification. Again, that's okay and expected, right? Difference this time, we're going to head over to the cluster configuration, then data node upgrade. Select rolling upgrade. Now, Grello is going to tell us exactly which data node to upgrade first. We're going to hit the start upgrade process and boom, it will pause the shard replication so we don't have to worry about it and just have a clean upgrade. Pivot to the data node CLI, same steps as a single node, stop gray log, unlock the package, update the repo, install the upgrade. But it will be done node by node, one at a time. After the upgrade is done and stable, we go back and confirm it in the UI then we just move on to the followers. And that's how you keep your cluster happy and avoid outages mid upgrade. All right, now we're ready for a wrap. And until next time, folks, happy logging.